Kicking off the Maritime Day Parade is the Gig Harbor Chamber Banner, generously being carried by the children of the Peninsula Athletic Association. Here is Miss Pierce County and Miss Pierce County Outstanding Team. Harbor City of Gig Harbor Chamber of Commerce, Merchants of Thank Uptown, you. Gig Harbor Downtown Waterfront Alliance. Restored Midway Schoolhouse, where almost 5,000 students from all over the area have participated. The donkey, as they embark on a quest to rescue the beautiful Princess Fiona from a fire breathing dragon. There's Fiona and Shrek. Pirates of Treasure Island. They are a group of swashbuckling scallywags and sassy wenches led by Captain Crimson Cat. She had a litter box accident. It's handlebar. Oh, Captain, Captain Crimson Cat had a litter box accident. Who is this? Captain Handlebar. That's handlebar. Captain Handlebar. Yeah, bad litter box. Has anyone seen my parrot? You know they taste like spotted owl, don't you? Yeah. Did you enjoy being in the parade this year? Oh, I love the parade. This is my first time being in the parade. Yeah, you were really great. Nice. nice to have you here. Everyone was so excited. Any great messages for the kids this year? Uh, stay in school, watch out for your friends, help them when they're in trouble, and, uh, and try and give back, help other people. Thanks, Ronald. You're welcome. Together. The one you with, the one you with, the one you with, 
looking up the hill now and I'm, I'm noticing that right. procession is on its way down. I'm hearing the bagpipers as you uh, mentioned that. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Uh, do we know who are out in front there? Yes, we have the actual color guide uh, leader, Dick Perrier, and we have visiting fourth degree Knights of Columbus assembly folks from other churches. It's actually an honor for us to, to support them. They're also carrying the uh, icon, Our Lady of the Harbor. This was commissioned in 1998 by uh, Sister Fitzpatrick, who is an internationally known iconographer. The blessing of the fleet is a time-honored tradition that dates back many centuries. According to the legend, an Italian fishing boat had lost its way in a thick fog, and the crew was facing certain death unless they found their way back to shore. Suddenly, a crew member saw a glimmering light in the distance. Following the light, they were able to make their way back to shore safely. There they discovered that the light came from a medallion of Madonna de Luma, Mother of Light, set in a grotto high on a cliff. Since that time, Catholic priests have offered blessings of safety and a fertile cash to fishing fleets around the world. Carrying on this tradition that began in 1971, Gig Harbor's commercial fishing fleet, St. Nicholas Catholic Church, and the Knights of Columbus honor fishermen lost at sea each year with the Blessing of the Fleet celebration. It's a 1940 Packard. I've uh, owned it for 30 years. My wife and I bought it in Snyder, Texas. Uh, it was a six cylinder car originally. Uh, it currently has a 350 Chevy in it, 700 R4, 9 inch Ford with pause attraction, power steering, power brakes. I've driven it over 30,000 miles since I built it, and never, ever have I had a problem. What was the strangest thing you saw at the Maritime Gig Festival this weekend? Probably a lot of people running around in lime green shirts. What was the strangest thing you saw at the Maritime Gig Festival this weekend? That would be a goat driving a van in a parade. Zach the Zaniac, or Zach Zerbre. Are you talking about the Zaniac? The Zaniac. That's Alex Zerbe. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, oh, that was the strangest thing. That was the strangest okay, thing. Okay, very um, good. Yeah. Probably a woman playing an accordion out in a gig at the Blessing of the Fleet. The weirdest thing that I actually saw during the Zaniac performance was an older woman who was completely <laughs> rocking out to Alex Zerbe to the parent song. She was rocking out. She was a very good parent, apparently. It had to be the explosion at the top of that power pole at 1220 on Saturday afternoon. <laughs> yeah. The strangest thing that I saw this weekend was probably the looks on all the kids' faces when the pirate ship started to sink when the power went out. And then the looks on the parents' faces that had been waiting in line for a half an hour. <laughs> and the daggers they were shooting at me. <laughs> Tell us what the strangest thing you saw at the Maritime Gig Festival this weekend was. Josh filming me with a zipper open. <laughs> <laughs>